Hey everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. I'm so excited that you're here with me today because I am using the Petal Palette Suite in order, or bundle I should say, in order to make my simple two-step up card this week. So each Friday I have been featuring a card, or I should say two cards or three cards sometimes, showing you how you can take a card from very simple to stepped up. And today we're gonna to focus on some ink blending for the stepped up card. I wanted to show you the stamp set. It's a really awesome stamp set. It actually comes in two containers. I just condensed mine down to one and it has these really beautiful images. And then it's got this great framelit set to go with it. So one of my very favorite techniques in the whole wide world is ink blending. Um, and I'm gonna speed the video up here really fast because good ink blending takes some time. Um, you have to move fairly slow and have a very light hand when you are ink blending. And it is really honestly the only way that you're gonna get really soft, subtle blending. If you um, blend too quickly or you put too much ink down or you push too hard, instead of going over the images or uh, over it again and again and again and layering that ink, you're gonna get very muddled inking, ink blending. You're gonna have lots of spots that are darker or lighter than other spots and it just doesn't, it's just not very pretty. So you can see here that I'm going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, going into colors, out of colors. And that's what creates this really soft, beautiful ink blend. Um, I'm using the some ink blending tools that I got on Amazon. They are not Stampin' Up! And they are my favorite to use because I find that I get a much better blend using them. Um, and I'm using Night of Navy ink, Bermuda Bay ink, and Lemon Lime Twist, which makes a beautiful color combination, I should add. I've got some of this fancy foil paper, specialty paper here from um, Stampin' Up! It's kind of like window sheets, and I'm just putting a piece of tear and tape on there on the side that's gonna be tucked under another layer, so you won't see any adhesive at all under this piece. This piece is cut at one and a quarter by five and a half, and then I've got a piece of basic black cardstock that's cut at three and a half by four and a half, and I'm gonna go ahead and layer that down. Now, I before I started the video, I put sticky adhesive sheet on the back of my cardstock, and I did that because these are very intricate dies that I'm about to cut out, and I don't want to end up with um, dies that I have to put a bunch of glue on and it's really hard to get the glue on because it's so skinny and delicate. So I put the sticky sheet on the back of the cardstock first, then I did my ink blending. Then I'm gonna use this precision plate that I just showed you in order to do my cutting. So I ran that through my Big Shot and um, now I have my little pieces and I punched all the little pieces out of the center. And you're gonna see here, I can just peel away the release paper on the back of this cardstock. And now this is like a sticker, which is so handy and wonderful when you need to create something. So I put that on the inside, and then this piece is going to go on the front of the card. And it's really gonna pop against that black cardstock. So you'll see that here when I put it down. Now this is my stepped up card. To see my um, simple card, you're gonna wait till the end of the video or visit my website at loveandstampin.com. Also on my website, there's a full supply list. There's a full supply list in the description below this video. So if you wanna get any of these supplies, you can order them. Now I needed to create a little piece of paper to do um, some layering on and I didn't have any of this color with me in the room, so I just went ahead and used my ink blending tool with my ink to create it. So this is a tip for you. When you have, um, let's say you don't have all the cardstock colors, but you have all the ink colors, you can always do some ink blending in order to create a cardstock background that you want or a color that you want. So that's what I did here. And then I just took my Stampin' Trimmer and trimmed this cardstock down to the size that I wanted, uh, which I think we'll find out here in just a second when I cut this because I can't remember what size it was. Um, oh yeah, three and a quarter by an inch, I believe it was, yep. So I ended up with a three and a quarter by one inch 
um, piece of lemon lime twist cardstock because I did the ink blending on top of it and it does have a little bit of a different look um, it's not exactly the same as a solid piece of cardstock but for this card it works really really well because of the type of card it is so I'm gonna go ahead and layer this piece down here and then I'm going to add my sentiment now when I was doing all and my birdie when I was doing all of my ink blending, I went ahead and took a piece of white cardstock and blended a little bit of that Bermuda Bay on the bottom of one piece, and then I stamped my sentiment above it. And here you can see I have this really pretty Knight of Navy bird, and then this is the sentiment. You'll see what I mean when I turn it over. I've got a little bit of ink blending down underneath on the bottom, and that just helped to create kind of a cool effect so there it is that is the beginnings of my stepped up card now I also have these really awesome teeny tiny clear epoxy stickers you can get these from Stampin Up I love these they are just a little raised clear bump and I'll be honest you can't see them that well in the video um, but they are so cute and they really add a lot of pizzazz to your cards so I'm just putting a few of them down in different little places here and in real life when you look at this card you can totally see those beautiful little um, epoxy spots now this is my simple card so you can see the difference here there's a lot more going on on the stepped up card I've added the inking and additional embellishments but the simple card is really pretty too so if you just had white cardstock and one ink color you could make that card with this stamp set and framelit set. Now I decided at the last minute that I wanted to create an envelope to match the card. So I went ahead and grabbed my um, my stamp and then my ink pads and I'm actually just inking up the center for the roses and then I came in with Lemon Lime Twist and inked the edges of these roses. And then I just decided to stamp. And that's it. Look how pretty that is. It's gonna be beautiful going in the mail with that extra little touch. So now that will coordinate very nicely with either one of these cards and I'll probably make more envelopes to match. But um, that was just a super quick little add-on that I thought of at the last minute. All right, so there's my simple step up cards. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget that you can get a free exclusive class to go from me right now. I've linked to it here in the video on the left. And then um, you can watch the other video, subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the face, the face, my face <laughs> that you see here. And I hope you have an amazing day. Take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.